All right, good morning, everyone. We are one hour until market open, and I'm just getting a understanding of what's going on in the markets. I always have a morning ritual to sort of figure out what's going on before markets launch. Let's see what's going on here. Can we fix this? There we go. Okay, cool. So, uh, lighting might be a little bit sucky today. Apologies. Uh, but uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about this ARC ETF that is um, coming up for approval or denial on August 13th. And I just want to read through something that I put up on Twitter. I will put this... Um, tweet so you can actually read the data uh, in the description of this video so you can go and check it out if you and it's, it's been this tweet has had a, almost 150,000 views so uh, you know go check it out so uh, this ETF has a deadline of August 13th um, if this is approved and we'll talk about what I think of regarding the approval chances in a second, but if this is approved, then we could start the process of unlocking a hundred billion dollars within the next cycle of Bitcoin coming into into Bitcoin. This is huge news. This is like, you know, you're talking about Bitcoin going to levels that nobody can even think of uh, at this point. Um, now, the SEC can further delay the application until the 10th of January, which is what I think will happen. Um, as much as I don't want that to happen, I think that's what's going, that is what is going to happen. Um, this is the first application with the new BlackRock Amendment. The BlackRock Amendment is the Surveillance Sharing Agreement. BlackRock Amendment is the new Surveillance Sharing Agreement that, um, that they've created to make the SEC happy with a spot ETF. So, um, you know, I don't think this is going to get approved because I think what they're going to do is they're going to delay this and then later down the line approve all of them at the same time. There's a lot of morons, thousand dollar net worthers that say BlackRock owns the SEC, so only BlackRock's going to get approved. That this doesn't work like that. You're going to have, uh, I would be shocked if that happened because you're going to open yourself up to so many lawsuits, it's going to be shocking. So. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, that's not how the market works. I think BlackRock created the gravitas that's needed uh, to get this approved. So if it is a shock approval, then that's, uh, that, that would be great news, more than welcome, but I don't think it will be. The other piece of information is the SEC is in there, currently in the middle of their lawsuit with Grayscale, so they need to sort that out as well. So the, the easiest path here is delay and then later approve. That's why I think that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, if this one is approved now, you're going to see the others get approved and we're going to start unlocking the $100 billion of assets coming into Bitcoin. Just that $100 billion of assets, if Bank of America's multiple stays correct, you're looking at a market cap of somewhere around $11 trillion, which would be 560 something thousand uh, dollars per Bitcoin. So this is huge news. Um, you know, and I think that if a spot ETF in the USA is approved within 2023, I think there's a very high chance that we see a new all-time high before the halving, which would be a very, very first for Bitcoin in its pricing cycle. So it's exciting times, um, but I don't think this one's going to get approved right now. I think it's going to be delayed, and then I think a batch of them will be approved, uh, and we'll see. But if it, if it does work out, it'll be fantastic. Uh, I just can't see there being any reason for the SEC to not delay this for the moment. But we'll see if 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 the if the you know if the best happens, then we'll see a, a Bitcoin ETF by August 13th and start unlocking this hundred billion dollars of incoming capital. You know, when you look at how much money that is, that's a lot of money. Bitcoin's equilibrium demand, based on Fundstrike's research, it currently is sitting at 25 million dollars a day. And if we unlock $100 billion, you're talking about, you know, somewhere in a region of 200 million, 200 million a day coming into the markets. Uh, and that would, that would shock the markets, especially with the halving coming up. 
uh, next April. So if you are someone who has not yet understood what Bitcoin is, why it's important, now is the time to do that. There is, you are, we have already, we have already made this impossible to afford for Western middle class. You, right now, if you are a single digit millionaire or just close to there, you can, you can afford one Bitcoin. Uh, and that's my, always my goal. My goal for you, anyone who's watching this, is get to one Bitcoin. That's it. Everything else is irrelevant. Focus on getting to one Bitcoin. So we've already made it you know, almost impossible for the majority of the Western middle class. And, and now, we're about, in this next cycle, we're about to make it impossible for low single-digit millionaires to acquire one Bitcoin. So, guys, if you are sitting there and you're wondering, like, oh, do I take advantage of this Bitcoin? Like, study it right now. It's not like you've got a year to study this. Right now is when you should be studying this. So I hope you have a good morning. That's my update on the ARK uh, Spot ETF application on August 13th. I don't think it's going to get approved uh, because I think it makes more sense to delay and then approve all of them at the same time. So have a beautiful morning. Keep an eye on uh, what's going on in the markets. And also, if you're enjoying the videos, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.